I grew up on my grandfather's farm with the animals. With the love of the animals and the feeling you get when you can help an animal, I then realized I wanted to go into medicine and hopefully to help people. I'm a physician specialized in dermatology. The primary role of the physician is to protect the health of the public. I was seeing a lot of children sick following exposure to the lawn sprays or their neighbor's sprays. We received information from the government, from Health Canada, on the harm of smoking, but we never ever received anything from Health Canada warming to keep the babies off the treated grass. In 1985, I began recognizing the harm of the lawn care chemicals. I started presenting my observations and concerns to the town council of Hudson with documents. Hudson is my community where I live. While I was on council, she repeatedly, and I mean repeatedly, came to council and made submissions. She was writing letters to every council uh, and every council meeting and in order to get it on public record uh, about her concerns. And she always had a lot of uh, evidence uh, to back up what she was saying. At that point in time, the provincial government had no uh, restrictions on who or, or, or how they spray. Some of my colleagues really felt that we had to start doing something about it. The chemical companies, of course, threatened us. Uh, they, didn't, they didn't want this kind of legislation to start because they knew that sooner or later they were going to, it was going to go nationwide. Chemlon and Spraytech took Hudson to court three times. The third time it ended up in the Supreme Court of Canada and each time Hudson won. I have great admiration for the people of Hudson and for the mayor and council because I simply was a spokesperson for the ordinary citizen. I believe she felt that she, if she started something in a small community like Hudson, it would, it would become a snowball. Dr. Irwin is one of these highly individualistic people who may be regarded as being a bit eccentric, but she's made her points and that's, that's really what counts. I'll never stop writing when I have something that's important I feel to say. One can never stop because things might slip backwards. One doesn't know what tomorrow brings and you have to be ready to keep the movement forward.